If I could achieve something in my life, I think anybody could do that. Hi, my name is Hussain Siriki and I'm from Afghanistan. In 1990, 1999, that was the peak uh, power of Taliban and uh, they killed um, thousands of our people, men, women and children and, um, and they targeting most young people because young people, the power, they had the power to fight against them and, uh, and especially the people who had some um, name and some profile as well as uh, selected for our first Olympic team and as a martial artist, as a Taekwondo player. And, um, but sadly, I couldn't participate in Olympic because of um, Taliban with another uh, problem for our first Olympic team. And that was the reason I escaped in 1999. Well, journey was a difficult journey, and also it was a turning point in my life because you know I realized who I am, and, and um, you know not many, many people that have no life jackets and stuff, and nobody, and you have to swim, and uh, in a huge ocean which I never seen before in my life, and uh, and I had the time to think as well, like how I spend my life, and you know, and. Um, what I'm going to do if I if I reach uh, to Australia alive, and then I kind of took all my you know got all my uh, strength and I said you know I face a lot of challenges in my life and this is another one I have to face it and I have to get over it and then uh, be uh, be a strong person. Now. And then we face another. Uh, um, challenge which uh, detention center. You know, I I stayed in Portland detention center that time for six months, which that was an, another new experience and harsh experience for me because I was imagining you know going to a civilized country like Australia, you could uh, face some humanity and it, it treat you not as as uh, like in a, in a kind of semi jail. And um, I went to school, and and then um, I started volunteer work for my community for getting new arrival and stuff. And uh, I become community leader uh, for uh, um, for um, Hazara community in, uh, in Perth. And then I get into movie industry, and uh, my first film won the best choreography uh, um, award in uh, international. Action Film Festival in America. Two thousand twelve, I forgot. Actually, I went to World Championship um, World Martial Arts Festival and, uh, in Iran, and I became world champion. And uh, till last year, I went to Afghanistan. Out of after you know, 14 years, in the, when I went to Afghanistan in 2013, I had something in my hand. You know, I could prove it to my uh, people in Afghanistan, also the government. You know, I've done something um, for Australia and Afghanistan, and. Uh, it was very good welcoming from government and also um, uh, people in Kabul and, and I opened an NGO over there called Hope. And, uh, but when uh, President Kazai asked me well, what, uh, what you brought to Afghanistan, I said I brought Hope for young people, and, uh, which uh, I'm from the, the most disadvantaged, disadvantaged province of Afghanistan, which called and I suffered so much in my life and I could achieve and, and become a refugee from my country and if I could achieve something in my life, I think anybody could do that. And, uh, 
And for us through the community, what I want to say is like uh, um, any person who came by boat has a, has, a, has a huge potential of be somebody because they came with a huge experience in their life uh, and uh, they want to be um, a member of this community without um, um, taking anything from here. They want to give something to this country. And uh, I feel, I feel uh, kind of sad when I see Australia treat um, asylum seekers in a very different way. In a very, in, uh, and it damaged Australian history of uh, being um, a good host for uh, millions of uh, asylum seekers or, or refugees from, from, uh, from many different countries around the world.